Okay, so let's continue with the part two. Uh, last time we have a we have a, a preparation, a hive preparation mission, which took us to the cargo ship to steal some weapons, and we roll a partial success, which is when you when you roll a skill check, you will set uh, set aside uh, the the highest roll, and then compare to the skill check table outcome table, which means I have a partial success. If I have a six, it's a full success, and four or less, it's fail. Uh, what does it mean? If I have a full success, I will get three credits and a reward, which is here. In the partial success, there were some complications. Uh, uh, there were some issues happened. Uh, so I do not get the credits, but I received a reward, which reward means in the cargo seven, a seven a reward for seven is gain weapons with a total cost of four or less. Rewards are fixed and just check out the number corresponding number to the mission. I can buy a weapons with a total cost of four or less, which I do it right now. Uh, okay, so I will buy an SMG for four. So I will roll down an SMG. Okay, so I have an SMG, and we can continue with the second uh, from the from the three. So the second preparation mission will be nine, which is infiltrate the gang's hideout and stole their goods and plans. And this is a stealth skill check. I have a stealth of six because. I am working for my client, um, which is the Freedom Fighters. So I will take six dice and roll all of those. Oh man, okay, so the dice number five. Mm. So again, a partial, no credit for me right now, but yeah, uh, so, but I get the reward at last. So the reward for this mission is nine so gain one savvy or tech skill point at the start of each of your turns that is amazing so at the start at the start gain one savvy or one tech skill point we will get to skill points in a minute. Okay, so the final preparation mission will be uh, 8. So 8 is interrogate the target in downtown to receive the important codes. Okay, so I'm going to downtown and I will need to savvy and I will need a savvy skill check, which is 4. I will roll four dice. And the highest one is 5. At least I did not fail. Okay. Let's see what will happen if I will fail. The three will be the biggest, uh, the, the highest number, so that means I failed it. So four or lower is fail, which means I didn't get the reward, I didn't get the credits, but what I will suffer is a complication. So what was the thing? So I won't went to the downtime, I want to interrogate the guy, and what went wrong, what was the complication? So I did not do that successfully, so it's 8. Your mission endangered innocent bystanders. Okay, so I was there, I tried to interrogate him, and the shootout happened, there was a chase, we, uh, uh, he shoot at me, so I stopped chasing him because the bystanders was endangered, so he just went away. Okay, but what does it mean that uh, it will always give me an ongoing effect of whole heist? The complication as reward will give me, okay, reward will give you benefits for the heist, uh, and complication will give you just uh, setbacks, uh, drawbacks for your heist. So, um, so your stealth points capacity is reduced by one. So minus one cap for st uh, points okay so i will have five capacity of stealth points fine that was all the preparation missions we can proceed to the heist 
So, let's start the heist. Okay, heist levels and how to set up a heist. Heist, uh, heist will end, as we spoke, when you will receive at least 12 intel. Okay? So that means that you are going from level to level. It's a micro skirmish game. So every, uh, so the game is always happening in a single level. And a single level is, uh, is, uh, is not bigger than 6 by 6 inches grid. This is the whole level always. And when you leave the level, the next level will, will set up and so on and so on. Until you will die eventually or until you will leave the heist. And then uh, at the moment when you are leaving the level, so you can leave the heist when you achieve at least 12 intel or before that. But before that, it means that this will be a failure and you and three failures mean that it's end for your story, for your character's career is done. Okay, so for now, set up the highest mission, how, it's, uh, how it is, uh, um, uh, how, how we can read these diagrams. So, uh, you are always starting in the lobby. In the first area, this is just your entrance. Only, the, the, only, when, you, only when you do the observe security target area prep mission, you can choose any areas from the beginning and now on but for now you are we are starting at the lobby so this is the setup for the lobby um, i'm using the necromunda game board and the necromunda minis i have um, but uh, you also but you can use the tokens that are with the game or you can do your own area it's absolutely up to you i do not have the terrains through the terrains right now uh, but the necromunda tiles has those terrains just marked like this uh, it's a different than than the lobby for now but just for the showcase right now um just for the showcase right now it will be okay so i will use this uh, for the lobby Okay, so how to read and set up the mission. Start with the intel. E is intel. So we will mark the area with the intel. So we will know where we can get the intel from that level. Then set up the enemies. And there are... Uh, there, uh, this is the old document. But in your document you will have an arrow pointing when he is facing. Every time when you are using minis, be sure that you clearly know where the miniature is facing. I am using their faces as, as facing. So I am setting the minis as they are facing from the, from the rule book. So they are facing like this. Okay. So the minis are set up. Now we will put an entrance here. So we will use the entrance token here as it is. Now there is an exit token with the X. So this is here and I am putting the X here. So the enemy should have been here, but okay, let's ignore this is the black like here. And we will ignore this because there is no. Okay, so uh, the, th the, the final thing is a C, which is the partial cover. And partial cover, I will use this token here for the partial cover. And we are now good to start the game. I will uh, start the mission at the E, which means the entrance. E X is the exit. So we can start a heist. Uh, okay, before the heist, I should purchase some things, but I decide not to. So I will, so I will keep my five credits, starting credits, uh, for next heist because I already buy an SMG and I'm good with it. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, right now uh, we are in the heist. Uh, we are in the heist um, uh, part of the game, which is tactical miniature skirmish game. Um, so we will cover that in the video number three.